more of the non-glamorous side of photography. Trying to catch the sunrise this morning up at Mount Baker. Do you see the time? It's 3.22 a.m. And I just got gas. I'm heading up for almost three hour drive. Good morning. Welcome to Photo Friday number two. Uh, don't forget, hit the subscribe button, the like button, every other button you can think of except for the thumbs down button. Don't hit that one. So I drove all the way up to, uh, where am I? Almost Artist Point at Picture Lake. You can see the lake out there. You got Mount Shookson in the back. Sun's slowly starting to come up. Uh, so hopefully the, what little clouds we do have will light up. But unfortunately the whole drive up it was cloudy. I was thinking it was going to be a good sunrise. But I get up here and there's no clouds. Uh, half moon. Some stars. So I'm just kind of finding composition right now. Just getting set up. It is about 6 a.m. I left at 3 in the morning. Or so you can see I've got my new Sony A7R2. This is really the first time I'm really using it. Uh, since I'm on a tripod, you can see vibration control is off. I'm on manual focus. Uh, this thing right here is an adapter to, con to adapt a Canon mounted lens to the Sony's. Uh, this is a mirrorless camera which means there's no mirror, which, uh, for one, downside is they're kind of battery hogs because the viewfinder is electronic. But otherwise, uh, so far it's still good. Uh, like 14 stops dynamic range, like I mentioned in the last video. Uh, so unfortunately, TJ had some stuff going on today, so he's not able to come out with me. Uh, but he came up here earlier this week and just got a phenomenal sunrise. But unfortunately, I'm not going to get that good of a sunrise. It is currently like 31 degrees. Hopefully, it'll warm up a little bit, but I'm not cold yet. So, anyway, that's where I am. Just waiting for the sun to come up. The sun's finally coming out. I don't know if you can see that very well, but the clouds are kind of leaving it, which is good because when I was first here, it was just clouded over, and that doesn't work out so well. So, you can see, I don't know if you can see it very well. But there's my composition. You can see I've got the foreground right in there. The lake is the midground with the trees and then Shooks in for the background. So anyways, where I'm gonna be for a bit. I'm gonna try vertical uh, you know, portrait photos and then uh, back line, you know, just kinda mix it around. I also brought my little crystal ball, so hopefully I can do something with that. Maybe set it up on the snow with Shooks and reflected through it, so that should look pretty cool. So I pulled out my crystal ball. See that right there? So it's got uh, Shuxon reflected through it. Uh, you can't really see Shuxon very well through the lens, but through the ball it's, it sticks out pretty well. So it's a pretty cool shot. Uh, hopefully something will turn to color here pretty soon. Uh, let's see what time is it. Sunrise is in about 20 minutes. And there's some guy driving backwards on the road. Isn't that fascinating? So that guy, he's actually going the wrong way. This is a one-way road through here. Oh well. At least it didn't hit me. So that's what I'm playing with now. Uh, just waiting for the sun. Uh, changing my composition here and there. But I went over there on the other side of those little trees. And I stuck my foot through some snow and it went into the water. So that was awesome. More fun of being a photographer. But as I went over there farther, uh, you kind of lose the view of Shuxon uh, with all the trees. So I'm just kind of sticking to this little area here where I have a straight on view. Uh, you can see I was over here. See, because with that foreground, you have these kind of leading lines that go through it here and there and kind of lead your eye up to Shuxon. So hopefully it's only be coming out soon and I can get some good color in the sky. remember on these cold days is keep your batteries for your cameras in your pocket close to your body uh, that way it prevents them from getting cold and they last longer so just a little trick a little tip to help you out on these cold winter days when you're out shooting in the snow because just the mountains in the snow is just phenomenal 
Uh, unfortunately, you know, I'm not getting good clouds or anything for good light, but it's still just amazing up here. Up by Mount Baker, you know, that Shuxon I'm shooting. I can't get to Baker or to Artist Point. They have the road closed, unfortunately. So, and you can still uh, hike or snowshoe up there if you wanted to, but I didn't bring my snowshoes on. I didn't bring anything to do that kind of stuff. So I think it's, it's like two or three miles one way from here, I think. I don't know. But either way, I don't have enough water on and food, uh, nothing. So maybe next time I come up, I'll bring all that stuff with me so I can get some good shots up there. And if it's clear, maybe come up at night and get some good astrophotography. Uh, but till then, we'll see how it goes this morning. The best part about coming up here right now is that the ski resort is not open. So you're usually up here by yourself. If you come up here to catch the sunrise, so it's, it's peaceful, it's quiet, nobody's around. You can hear me crunching through the snow. Because it's probably, oh, close to a foot deep up here already. So, could be a good ski year, but you never know. It's happened in the past, and, and it just all went to crap early on in the season, so. But I think I'm gonna move my composition see here what it's like just kind of straight on there's that big tree there maybe I'll go cut it down real fast eh, maybe not but I kind of moved over here and see what I can find the last thing you want to do is put your tripod down and then just stay which is what a lot of people seem to do once those tripod legs hit the ground they're just kind of glued to it instead of wandering around checking out the others area what else is around more leading lines more foreground just just something different so that's what I'm gonna do pick up everything and move around one thing I'd want, want to touch on briefly is reading your light meter on your camera so right now I've got this one set up you can see this plus 0.5 right there so I'm basically half a stop overexposed as I change my shutter speed See, it goes to zero. Now I'm underexposed by a stop, overexposed. So you really want to try and have that basically at zero. Or what well, you can see, you can see this, the meter right there. You can see that that little arrow is moving on it as I'm changing it. And that will also change if you change your f-stop or your ISO and all that. Uh, so it's something to be aware of. Uh, now being in the middle doesn't always guarantee your proper exposure just due to the light conditions or what and what's around you but at least it's a good place to start so it's just one thing to pay attention to uh, so you kind of know you're always going to get proper exposure most of the time uh, so you can see I moved my composition I've got this little leading line leading straight into Shuxon uh, just kind of waiting for the sun to pop up hoping it will soon I don't know if it's going to come up or where it's going to come up, though. I should probably look at that. So I know if I should stay here much longer or just move on. Yep. When you shoot in these cold temperatures like this, uh, never take your camera straight into a warm place. Uh, you'll build up condensation on the inside of it, which will cause it to not work. So what I do is I put it back in my bag right there, and I won't open my bag for a couple hours. Uh, that way it'll have time to warm up in my car, and the camera can slowly warm up and then you don't have to worry about condensation so just a quick little helpful tip
sunrise. Uh, you can see there's some sun coming onto that mountain up there, but the sun's coming up right behind Chuckson. So I don't want to be here all day waiting for that to come up. So I'm going to pack up and then head down the road. There's, uh, what is it? The road that goes up to, uh, what's the name of that trail? I forget, Hannigan Pass. Uh, so I'm going to head up that road just a little ways because I've seen photos where you can use the river and it'll lead you straight into Shuxon. So I'm going to go see what I can find down there for a little bit and then probably head home. Just came down Hannigan Pass Road a little ways and I think I may have found the spot where the river leads straight to Shuxon. So I'm walking back. I'm hoping I can get down there. I may have to bushwhack my way just right back over there actually to get down to the river. Actually, there seems to be a little trail right here. We'll take that in a minute. Oh, we got this little creek here. Let's see what we got. That's not bad. Of course, I didn't bring my water socks or anything today, so I don't know how much I can go do. But I think I'm gonna head down. You can see that little sandbar down there? Head there, and I think I can look straight up into Shuxon from there. Uh, so let's head down there. Well, this thing I came across an old truck. How badass is that? Actually, an old bus, maybe. I don't know. But definitely gotta get a photo of that. That's just pretty cool. So I think I will maybe put my 14 millimeter Rokinon lens on so I can get right up close to it and have, hopefully you get something good. Found a pretty good spot here. Uh, you can see, uh, I'll try and keep the sun out of the camera as best I can. Uh, there we go. First time I'm probably blocking with my hand. Uh, you can see the river pretty much leads the leading line straight into Shuxon. So I think this will be really pretty here coming this winter when this is all snowy here. Oops, sorry. Trying to get the camera out of the sun. Uh, but until then, I think Photo Friday is done. I'm going to start heading back to Seattle. Uh, next week, TJ will be back. So you'll get to see both of us then. Uh, until then, hit the subscribe button. And if you like the video, hit the thumbs up button. Uh, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>